Mathematics 5, Revised K-12 Curriculum, Lesson Exemplar Based, Quarter 2, Week 6, Lesson 6. Our topic is about divisibility rules for 3 and 9. Our focused learning competency is to use divisibility rules to find common factors of numbers, explain divisibility rules for 3 and 9. From our previous discussion, we have generated a divisibility rule by observing the last digit of our given numbers. Now let us try to observe the sum of the digits of each number. Take note, it's not the last digit, but the sum of the digits. So here are numbers that are grouped by 3 and numbers that are grouped by 9, meaning these numbers can be equally divided by 3 while these numbers can be equally divided by 9. If we are going to add the digits of this number, we'll come up to these sums. 3 plus 3 equals 6, 2 plus 7 equals 9, 3 plus 0 equals 3, and 1 plus 8 equals 9. Well, right here we have 2 plus 7 equals 9, 1 plus 8 equals 9. So take note of the sums. On the other hand, there are a number of students that have an excess. So this number 32, if we're going to divide that by 3, there will be an excess numbers. And if we're going to add the sum, we'll have 3 plus 2 equals 5. Compared to these numbers, what have you observed? And for these numbers here, if we're going to divide these numbers by 9, then there will be excess numbers and if we're going to add 3 plus 3 equals 6, 3 plus 0 equals 3, and 3 plus 2 equals 5. So notice their sums and compare it with the sum of these numbers which are divisible by 9. Now if you are able to arrive at a certain conclusion based on that presentation, then we will able to form the divisibility rule for 3 which was created by some mathematicians. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3 or a multiple of 3. From this rule, to determine if a number is divisible by 3, first take the sum of the digits of the given number and then observe if the number of the digits is divisible by 3 or not. From what we have observed, the sum of the digits of 2 plus 7 is 9. Since 9 is a multiple of 3 or can be divided by 3, then 27 is also divisible by 3. On the other hand, the sum of the digits of 32 is equal to 5, which is not divisible by 3. Therefore, 32 is not divisible by 3. Determine if the following numbers are divisible by 3. Number 1, 516. That is 5 plus 1 plus 6. Number 2, 913. 9 plus 1 plus 3. And number 4, 1206. That is 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 6. So let's answer. Number one, first, according to the rule, take the sum of its digits. So 5 plus 1 plus 6, we have 12. Now, since 12 is a multiple of 3, meaning 12 can be divided by 3, then 516 is divisible by 3. For number 2, 823, take the sum. 8 plus 2 plus 3 equals 13. Now, since 13 is not a multiple of 3, then 823 is not divisible by 3. Number 3, 1530. Again, let's take the sum of its digits first. So 1 plus 5 plus 3 plus 0 equals 9. Now, since 9 is a multiple of 3, then 1530 is divisible by 3. From the example, since 516 and 1530 are both divisible by 3, then we can say that 3 is one of their common factors. Now let's talk about divisibility rule for 9. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9 or a multiple of 9. From this rule, to determine if a number is divisible by 9, first take the sum of the digits of the given number just like what we did with number 3 then 
observe if the sum of the digits is a multiple of 9 or not. The sum of the digits of 18 is 9. Since 9 is a multiple of 9 or can be divided by 9, then 18 is also divisible by 9. On the other hand, the sum of the digits of 33 is equal to 6, which is not divisible by 9. Hence, 33 is not divisible by 3. Next, 823. Take the sum of its digits. 8 plus 2 plus 3 equals 13. Now, since 13 is not a multiple of 9, then 823 is not divisible by 9. Next, 1530. 1 plus 5 plus 3 equals 9. Now, since 9 is a multiple of 9, then 1530 is divisible by 9. Let us take 516 and 1530 from our examples. As we can observe, these two numbers are both divisible by 3, but only 1530 is divisible by 9. This gives us the idea that all numbers that are divisible by 9 are also divisible by 3, but not all numbers that are divisible by 3 are divisible by 9. And now for our reg example, determine whether the following numbers are divisible by 3 or 9 using their divisibility rules. More than one rule again may apply. Number 1, 162. Solution. Let's find first the sum of the digits. That is 1 plus 6 plus 2 equals 9. Since 9 is a multiple of 3 and 9, then 162 is divisible by 3 and 9. Meaning two numbers can divide 162. Next number 2, we have 354. What number can divide 354? So for our solution, let's find the sum of the digits. 3 plus 5 plus 4, this is taken from the digits of this number. 3 plus 5 plus 4 equals 12. Since 12 is a multiple of 3 but not 9, then 354 is divisible by 3 only. Next, 1107. To find the digit, we have to add 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 7 equals 9. So since 9 is a multiple of 3 and 9, then 1107 is divisible by 3 and 9. Number 4, 2,235. Let's add the digit. 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 equals 12. Since 12 is a multiple of 3 but not 9, then 2,235 is divisible by number 3 only. And lastly, number 5, we have 5,544. Let's find the sum of the digits. 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4 equals 18. Since 18 is a multiple of 3 and 9, then 5,544 is divisible by both 3 and 9. Now it's your turn. Put the number in the line to make the given number divisible by the numbers inside the parentheses. So number 1, we have 84. Write another number on this line in order to make this number divisible by number 3 only. And same thing with number 2. Write a number here that will complete this number and will make it divisible by 3 and 9. For number 3, divisible also by 3 and 9. Number 4, make this number divisible by 3 only. And number 5, add a number that will make this number divisible by 3 and 9. Next activity, identify the common factors of the given numbers using the divisibility rules for 3 and 9. Good luck! Thank you for watching guys. You are going towards learning Teacher ITV. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you.